As early as 1932, when Lou was only 29, Grantland Rice called him the most valuable first baseman in baseball history. The compliments came after the Yankees crushed the Chicago Cubs in the World Series, with Lou bashing nine hits and three homers in a four-game sweep. It was Gehrig's first home run that shot poison in the souls of Cub pitchers, Rice wrote. From that point on, they seemed to sense the approach of certain doom. The hammer of Thor was hanging above their heads. Here's the wind up, two and two. And it goes, a long slash deep in the center field. Way up, going, going, going. A home run! A home run! Lou Kelly with that count, all two and strike two. Six with that foul. Boy, that was a smash. There was nothing spooky about that one. As I said, going, going, going. It went high up over the sign out there, 407 feet away, and Lou Gehrig, smiling and trotting around the bank. He touched first, he touched second, he touched...